Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover today. FYI, the enhanced earthquake warning period we mentioned a few days ago begins this weekend. Let's exercise our brains as we start at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last 24 hours were mostly quiet. Apart from the dark coronal holes dominating the Earth-facing half of the sun, the brighter arching magnetic fields over the active regions are spread out and without proper sunspots beneath them. The solar wind from that coronal hole is approaching for impact within about a day and a half and should be easily visible as the stream is stabilizing now in pretty much every regard. KP index dropping to the floor in anticipation. We're going to see the final moments here. That comet we spotted yesterday, a Kreutz family rock, dives and disappears. Folks, the hurricane damage is atrocious. Some towns are completely gone. This was the beast as she came ashore and lost her eye yesterday afternoon. Okay, are you awake? Are you sure? Are you sure we're not in a simulation? The Matrix, Doug Vogt's die hold computer program reality. This guy thinks it's improbable, but not impossible. But in fact, the moment humans could pull it off ourselves, the chances in his mind jump from approaching 50% from the low side to highly probable, a fascinating read. And this one actually came out three days earlier, suggesting that, indeed, if that unlikely simulation scenario were to be the case, we might be able to hack the system from the inside. I suggested this to Doug once, actually, and he just said no. <laughs> Back to physics, everyone. We've got the most powerful galactic beasts, quasars, their cosmic jets, their ravenous activity. Not very often you get to see them flexing and fighting. Dueling quasars is considered a key step in early galactic evolution, needed to produce the galaxies we end up seeing in the modern universe, and that's whether you go with the mainstream or plasma cosmology. Great shot here of one of the new three dueling quasars discovered. Now folks, we've seen the Andromeda galaxy deliver in a number of ways, from the fastest repeating recurrent nova to gorgeous shots in different wavelengths of light. Today, she brings Professor Dave's worst nightmare to life. Folks, that pink thing is what you'd see if you saw the stacked Hubble images and faint radio return of astrophysical plasma. Words can't begin to explain the importance of the vastly enormous plasma halo around our sister galaxy, surprising scientists, because they didn't expect anything but a dark matter halo there. It looks like the coma of a comet, as Billy from our plasma lab noted in our call last night, and amazingly, they say it's so big, it must already be bumping into the plasma halo of our own Milky Way. Yes connected via plasma. This takes our minds first into the future. We know our galaxies are meant to collide and unify one day, but it appears that process begins much earlier than astronomers believed, as in now, with the halo of plasma that does deserve to fully replace the dark matter halo. And for the icing on the cake, when Professor Dave made that video saying sapphire wasn't real science, it's hard to come back making a video saying, just wait until we can go inside a star or the core of the earth or Wait until James Webb and the low surface brightness scopes show the shells around the galaxies in their CGM plasma. Turns out, we needed only for them to use what they already have, with a little help from those same background quasars, of course. Details in the article, shells of gas and a massive plasma halo. Did you know that clowns hate video on Sapphire is now the number one Google search result for their own name? Good luck with the future sensors. Those who will see will always find a microfiber cloth for their lenses here. We greatly appreciate your support. It's a plasma universe. There's no magic particle dark matter, and this is why the observable correlations we cover over and over again do make sense in the natural world. Lots of background on these topics at our website. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.